Any questions on anything else? I, I like this to be an interactive conversation, to f so feel free to interrupt me at any time. Um, I was curious, are companies who are going into India, do they have any concerns with India like they do with China? Like India is going to try to figure out how to make their devices cheaper or? Great question. I think I have a slide coming up that addresses that. But the short answer is that India historically has had a much greater respect for intellectual property, if that's where you're going with it. Okay, India was a founding member of the World Trade Organization. China was not accepted until many years later. And many people today are wondering whether that should have happened. So to answer your question, I have a whole slide about it. Okay, so India is not China 2.0. And this is probably one of the biggest challenges that American companies today face when they go to India. Okay. In, generally, we are approached by somebody who's in charge of APAC expansion or somebody who's the head of international sales at their company, and they say, look, you know, China is such a big market, we've now finally figured it out, and so we are ready to enter India because it's the next big country in Asia, and we learned all of these things in India, we're going to, in China, and we're going to apply them in India. Okay. Unfortunately, almost everything you learn in China uh, does not apply to India. Okay. <laughs> So uh, first of all, India is a free democracy, which means that you can go to Google. You, you know, Facebook's second largest user base is, is India. They bought WhatsApp for $18 billion when most Americans hadn't even heard of WhatsApp. And the primary user base was, uh, was India. Uh, Google has created many, many innovations in India and then applied them to the West. It has a vibrant free, free press. Uh, which means that unions can be strong, which means that if you have uh, any issues around recalls happening in Indiana or North Dakota, uh, the uh, Indian press will catch it and report it. American media operates very freely in India, unlike China. So you can watch CNN, uh, most upscale Indians read the New York Times and so on.